Hello guys and welcome back to another Weather Guy video. Today we'll be talking about Winter Storm Bessie. I'm using Tropical Tidbits, Keynote, College of DuPage Weather Center, and my logo is made with Picolage. First we're going to start with the current picture of this storm. I'm going to be using the markup feature on my device. So let me point out right now. Here is the snow section of the storm. Here is the rain section of the storm. These two will be combining together in the middle of the country and forming one system, Winter Storm Bessie. Right now, Bessie is just this, but the rain section will be incorporated into Bessie when they combine. So, the snow section will be moving south and east, and the rain section will continue moving north-northeast. The snow section will be affecting from Kansas and Oklahoma to Missouri, Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, Actually, let me draw that a little bit more fluid because this is more of a fluid type of storm. And it's already affected the rest of Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, Wyoming, and to the Northwest. So, in total, the snow section will cover this section of the United States. Now the rain section is relatively new. It has been created by moisture from the Gulf flooding into the southeast. Now the rain section is going to be affecting Texas, Oklahoma, the Gulf states, and then up the east coast. And there's a clear divide here. Sorry, my drawings are kind of bad, but it's, it's a good visualization. So you have the below 32 degrees and the above 32 degrees. And I can even do this. So you have a polar front. Actually, let me clear this. There we go. So right now, you have this high pressure, which is bringing in Arctic air from Canada into the United States, and you have Gulf moisture coming up into the center of the United States. These two are going to combine into a low pressure And move north and east, kind of combining the swooping and the straight up and down, pretty much, movement of the Gulf moisture. And it kind of shows our temperature map, which I might show later. And we are done with that. Let's move on to Tropical Tidbits. Here's the NAM 3 kilometer model. This is the picture that I just showed you. Now, we're moving into the future. Now, as you can see, that Gulf of Moisture moves north-northeast and is starting to connect with that Colorado snow. And more moisture is, is gathered as the Gulf continues to develop more rain. And we continue moving along. And you can see, let's click along a little bit further, you get this initial northern boundary of snow. This is where some of the heaviest snow will occur. Because these areas will be in snow basically the entire time. 
And you also have some sleet, which is in purple, and freezing rain in pink. Mostly in Texas and Oklahoma. Those can cause some traffic concerns if you're driving. Now as we continue to move along, you can see that the rain front increases in thunderstorm activity. And the snow front, the back side kind of weakens and the front side strengthens. Now snow is falling in Michigan. Now we continue, the back side is going to form an upper level low. Whereas the main low is near all these thunderstorms. And a line of thunderstorms is going to develop. So the front, the northern side of snow is gone. Then you have sleet, snow, and rain on this back edge. And that's all going to form together with the front edge, edge of the storm, to create the low. So the front side of the storm is going to be hitting the northeast on Halloween. So if you're wondering, What's the weather going to be like for Halloween? So, um, about 8 o'clock. That's the weather for Halloween. But back to here. Rain starts to hit the northeast, as well as a line of thunderstorms develops in the south. Then that low moves into the pocket developed by the upper level low in the front. And then you have that upper level low producing snow in Illinois, Wisconsin, and then ultimately Michigan and Canada. Now, the NAM 3 kilometer ends with this line of thunderstorms moving into the northeast on Friday. Now, if we go to the 12 kilometer, which is less detailed, but we go further in time, you can see that all hits the northeast, but no snow actually hits the northeast. And then behind that, we might get another round of snow. But that is basically what the storm is going to do. And you can kind of see the foundations of this on the current lower level water vapor imagery. So. Here's basically the picture that I just showed you, right? You have snow here, you have also some rain over here, and your gulf moisture. Gulf moisture moves up. The Colorado snow basically stays there. And it all kind of combines over Missouri, Illinois, Arkansas, and Oklahoma. And that's the current picture right now. Now, let's go to snow totals. Now, this is an over-exaggeration, so we're going to go to here. Oh, new model, I guess. But we're going to go to here. This is a little bit less, and that's fine. So, we're looking in that 6 to 12 inch range. Some areas, um, near the Mississippi of Illinois might see a foot of snow. Mostly from Green Bay to Milwaukee to the Quad Cities of Iowa into parts of Missouri, you'll see 6 and 12. Other notable cities like Chicago, you'll probably get in that 3 to 5 range. Um, this does not show Detroit, so actually let's show that. This isn't actually that bad of a representation. So yeah, Detroit's not going to get much, I'd say at most of the dusting. Um, then you have Chicago, 3 to 5. Uh, St. Louis, you'll probably get maybe a dusting, half of an inch. Uh, Kansas City is more of a three to three to five inches. You could possibly see six or seven. 
That's not out of the question. But most of the snow is going to be in the heartland of Illinois and Missouri, as well as Wisconsin. With that, we are going to go back to the closet, and I will show you what Winter Storm Bessie is going to do while I do the outro. So let's just wrap this up. Gulf Moisture comes north. Arctic plunge comes south with snow. Northern, northern snow. Southern thunderstorms. All moves north and east. Eastern front hits the northeast on Halloween. The backside turns into an upper level low. Hits Illinois, Wisconsin, and Michigan. Line of thunderstorms develops in the south. Whole storm moves off into Canada as the line of thunderstorms hits the northeast. We're all, let's actually look at the temperatures quickly. Just run through it. Arctic plunge. Arctic plunge through this entire event. You can see the low pressure. And then afterwards, we might see some melting. Not uncommon for this early in the year. But we are al already seeing an above average. Actually about average winter storm season so far. With two named storms before October. But the weird thing about these storms have been that they've been in the heartland of the U.S., the Great Plains. Most storms in the beginning of the year are Rocky Mountain storms, and we're not seeing that. So, who knows? We could be seeing an above average or snowier winter in the north. If you like snow, that might be something good to hear. And let's go back here. Alright, and then let's go to So with that, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell if you want to receive notifications when I upload. And I will see you guys next time. Stay safe.